four, eight, and three is moving along. We they, they've started their development. There. Well, they've kind of been in development for a while, but we're starting to get inklings about what the plot will be about. We all know that this is going to be Hugh Jackman's last foray as Wolverine. He will uh, appear in, I believe, X-Men Apocalypse. Not a huge appearance, but he'll be there. Uh, and then Wolverine 3 will be the last time we see Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. So, it's got me thinking what way would I want to see Hugh Jackman go out and hopefully on top and rumors are they've picked what I would think to be one of the best stories for him to go out on. Um, so Den of the Geek, Den of Geek has come out and said that they've heard some rumors, some inklings that the story of Wolverine 3 will revolve around the old man Logan storyline, which if you don't know about it, we'll get into in just a second. But this is almost the best movie you could do to end Hugh Jackman kind of because Wolverine in that, the end of that book, the, the, the series kind of rides off into the sunset. So without spoiling anything, hopefully this will be Hugh Jackman riding off into the sunset and they'll give him the best solo Wolverine movie that has come out to date, which would not be hard because all the other solo Wolverine movies have been mediocre at best. And I'm talking about Wolverine two was mediocre at best. And Wolverine origins was the biggest hot piece of garbage. Almost hey, that's ever hey, been made hey. in the Wolverine Origins. Had Hot piece of garbage. And he was horrible. They totally almost made me not want to ever see Gambit in the movie again. And Gambit's one of my favorite characters of X Men, especially because I grew up on the cartoon. So, I yeah, that's what they like did. Your Wolverine. favorite. Because yeah. he's like, a beast. Man, and Gambit. then I saw Wolverine Gambit Origins. Guy. Yeah, and then I saw Wolverine Origins, and I'm like, I can no longer like Gambit like I used to. They're lucky they kept Deadpool out of it for the majority of it. They really only had inklings of Deadpool in that movie. Otherwise, Deadpool would have been ruined for me, too. Thankfully, they did not totally 100% ruin it for me. I mean, they put Will I Am in the movie. How can you anybody take it serious when you put a... <sighs> I took it serious. All right. All right. Brendan took it serious. He apparently liked Wolverine Origins. Good job. I, I liked it so much that I didn't even bother seeing the second one. No, even better. Even like still, better. I have it. Even Usually better. I would have so, caught up by now, but <laughs> like whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so Old Man Logan, just to fill you a little bit on the backstory. Now, just so you know, this is one of the movies, if you, if you saw our show last week, we were talking about how Deadpool kind of changed the superhero movie landscape a little bit. There are going to be some movies coming out that they're going to be targeting an R rating. And Wolverine 3 was one of those movies that we thought would be targeting an R rating. And if they're going with the old man Logan story, that really makes a lot of sense. Because if you haven't seen anything of the comic of old man Logan, it is incredibly bloody and violent. It is one of the, one of the, the you know, it's, it's funny too. Because, yeah, let's just get into what old man Logan's all about. So old man Logan takes place 50 years in the future. Pretty much what's happened is the superheroes have lost. All the supervillains got together. They banded against the superheroes, and they won. So you have a dystopian future. At least the United States is kind of just trash. It's being run by groups like the Kingpin and, and different different little groups. I mean, you have like these weird outlaw gangs, like you have the Hulk gang, which they're all kind of have the, the powers of the Hulk, which, yeah, that, that sucks to have more but than one Hulk of those. The good. Yeah, he Mostly. turns bad in this. Again, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but Bruce Banner shows up, and he is not a good guy in, the, in well, that, that story. Well, that explains why the bad guys won. Yeah, well, part of it. But um, also, well, there, there's a big spoiler to tell you why the bad guys won, but I won't get into that again. Uh, just look it up. I mean, look up if you don't want to read the whole story, which is a good story. I recommend going out and reading it anyway. It's a lot then of fun. Watch the it's, movie. Uh, uh, there's no movie yet, but uh, go out and look at Comic Story, and he's got a really cool piece on Old Man Logan or Comics Explained. I believe he's got a really cool two or three part series of Old Man Logan. So check those guys out if you want to learn more about it. And yeah, it's just pretty cool. So pretty much what happens is Logan, 50 years in the future, villains won. He's settled down and he's become a pacifist. He no longer will pop his claws, and he hasn't done that for like 50 years or so. Pretty much since the supervillains won. And you might think, hey, that sounds like a coincidence. And yeah, there there is a reason in there. Um, but he has a family. He's pretty much a farmer now. And the Hulk gang are his landlords. Yeah, great people to choose as your landlords. I'm sure it wasn't a gang. choice. Probably you're right. Um, so they're bullying him for rent money. He cannot pay said rent money. And so they say, you better have it or we're going to kill your family. And so Logan has to do something. Well, good thing his buddy, Hawkeye, shows up, says, all right, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, you need some money. I'm going to I need some help on this job. 
why don't you come with me? I'll pay you the money you need for your rent and everything will be good. So they go on their adventure and of course they run into a lot of crazy things and stuff happens. So again, I'm not going to spoil anything. It's really cool. Just go ahead and check it out. Um, but that's the basic synopsis of this story. So we're going to get a grizzled older Wolverine than we would have gotten in any of the other movies. And uh, it seems like this story has a little bit more in the realm of depth to the character, especially Wolverine. Once you start really getting into the backstory of why he doesn't pop his claws out anymore and why he's become a pacifist, you or really see uh, growth in a character. Major. Well, 50 years. He's always aged. He's just aged a lot slower. So yeah, 50 but if years we go from, from like he's still... like looks 30 current day to looks 60. I don't know how old he's supposed to be. But... Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so now there, this is a really cool setting, I think, for a story. This is a unique setting for a superhero story, especially one where the good guys already lost. I mean, I don't think we've had that type of superhero story told especially not in movies yet. I mean, yeah, comic books plenty of times, but movies, we haven't seen that. So it'll be pretty cool. Now I do see them making a ton of changes. So even if you find out what happens with the old man, Logan story, you're probably in for plenty of changes. Cause like I said, Bruce Banner was in there. That is not a Fox property. We had Hawkeye was in there. He's big in there. He's not a Fox property. They ride around in the spider mobile uh, a whole lot. So that's not a Fox property either. Look for us to change a lot of things like, uh, Daredevil, Punisher, Pop Up, Doctor yeah. Doom's in there, Black Bolt, Hank Pym, Red Skull. All these guys are big parts of this, which kind of makes it why this story is so cool. Because you see some of these villains and you see some of these two superheroes, what happened to them 50 years after all this. And it, it would be really cool to see that all get played out, but you're not going to get the rights to any of those characters yeah. from Marvel. Although I think some of those you can... At least keeping the basic storyline, from what it, from what I understand, you could swap some of those out for something else. Like, the Hulk gang, you can swap. It wouldn't be as good, but you could swap out for just some other kind of Mutant gang. or type gang, yeah. Yes. Yeah. S- something else. You can swap. You can exchange some of those characters in there. And maybe they're just going to go with the, the concept. Maybe they won't. It'll be kind of like, uh, you know, Dark Knight, and it's inspired by the, uh, by the but not necessarily version, but, everything. Yeah, but yeah, but it's not necessarily like following that storyline. It's that yeah, kind and they're of they're gonna have to to make it work. They're definitely gonna have to draw from the story a little bit. But you're right; they can they can take the setting, they can take Old Man Logan, they can take him being a pacifist or something like that. All central concepts to the story, and totally change up what his mission is, why he goes out and does what he does. You know, and everything. So you're right. They they can take a lot of the basics and then change up a lot of the, the story plot points. So to make it work. I, I just think this is a really cool setting for a superhero movie, number one. I think this is a cool way to let Hugh Jackman ride off into the sunset. And number uh, that was number two. And number three is if you don't know Old Man Logan, you might want to get to know him because he will be he's the Wolverine in the all new, all different Marvel that has been kickstarted since Secret Wars has ended. So this is the Logan that we get now. <laughs> Old Man Logan is the only version of Wolverine out there right now. Well, in this con- continu- continuity, the yeah. blah blah. So, but I, I'm all in all, I'm pretty excited to see this. This is a cool story, a cool take on the story, and I'm hoping it it looks good on screen. And they stop giving us these super stinky hot pile of garbage that we've gotten out of the Wolverine solo movies. So that's not a guaranteed, but it'd be nice. It's not like Hugh Jackman's not a great actor. I mean, he can do things. He's got range. Dude can be on Broadway. The dude does musicals. I mean, he does everything. He's a good actor. He's great as Wolverine, too, in the X-Men movies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. So let him do what he does and let him do it good. So uh, I'm just hoping that the script and director don't get in the way of this being a spectacular movie because it sounds like everything. And again, it's all rumors. Nobody knows for sure it's going to be Old Man Logan. But I'm liking the chances there. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Are you excited to see an Old Man Logan story? Or you'd like to take, have them take it a different direction? Hit us up. Comments down below, of course. At Where's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always Google ways of getting a hold of it.